Hi, this is Steve with Slack Our Corner. Today we're going to introduce a new product. This is our SCC tire gluing tool. If you've ever glued or trued tires, you know it's a hassle and it can be quite messy. You also know, depending on how you glue those tires, that the results can be inconsistent. Uh, for example, uh, people sometimes use toothpicks and try to um, put small drops of adhesive. They try to pry up the tire, insert the toothpick between the, the wheel and the tire and continue to do that all the way around. It's a very, very tedious process. They'll do this on the front and the back. Uh, you're never quite sure if you get the adhesive uniformly all the way around that wheel or that bead. Uh, and even if you do, uh, a good portion of the surface of the wheel and the tire never gets any adhesive at all. So this, if you use this technique, uh, you may see limited results. Um, the, the adhesive will often fail, particularly when you're racing and uh, you're doing you know, hard cornering. Uh, the other way that people will sometimes glue tires is they'll just do the what I call the, uh, the smear technique and they'll just take their wheel, they'll uh, gunk it up with their adhesive, whatever that might be, and then they'll just slide the tire you know, over the, over the wheel. Um, but unfortunately when you do that, the tire acts like a big squeegee and it tends to push the adhesive from one side of the wheel to the other. So again, uh, you're not quite sure that you've got uh, adhesive where you want it and you may not have enough adhesive in uh, some parts of the tire. So we're going to look at uh, our tire gluing tool. We'll see how it, it's, uh, it's a better mousetrap and it'll allow you to do this easier and with more consistent results. Uh, we have two sizes of the tool that are available. We have a larger size, which is available for 16 and a half and 17 millimeter wheels. We have a smaller version of the tool, which is available for 14 and 15 millimeter wheels. For our demonstration today, we're going to use the smaller tool. So I'll set the larger tool off to the side. And we're going to use a uh, CB design. This is a 15 by 10 millimeter wheel. Again, the smaller tool is designed for the 15 millimeter wheels. And a quick slick, this is a, a CB43. A quick slick silicone racing tire, which is designed uh, for the 15 by 10 CB design wheel. Now for the demo, we're gonna do this dry. We're not gonna put any adhesive on, and we recommend that you do this uh, same thing, that you practice a couple of times using the tool going through these steps that I'm going to outline uh, two or three times just to make sure that you have the process down and that uh, you, you're comfortable with the mechanics. Once you've done it a couple, two or three times, it's going to become very um, intuitive. Uh, and at that point, go ahead and you can uh, put some adhesive on. We'll show you when to do that. So the first step is we're going to take an axle. Well, we'll take a quick peek at the inside of the tool. You can see on the inside of the tool in the center, there's a hole, which is where your axle will go. And then you can see that the tool is hollowed out and that's where we're going to tuck or kind of uh, insert or recess the wheel here uh, to facilitate the gluing process. So we start with a slot it. This is a slot it solid axle. This is 54 millimeters. I don't recommend going any shorter. You might you can go longer. It might actually be a little bit easier. Insert the axle into that hole in the center of the tool. And then you're going to want to position the wheel. I've already pre-positioned this to, to save some time, but you're going to want to pre-position this wheel so that first of all, the back of the wheel should be facing out. Very important so that you can access your set screw and it's also gonna make it easier to, uh, when you actually put the tire onto the, onto the wheel here. Um, we want, this is a ribbed wheel, center rib, so we want the entire shoulder on the back side of the wheel to be showing and we want just a little bit of that center rib. So roughly one third of the uh, entire width of the wheel. And again, with some practice, you'll, you'll get a feel for this. If you're using a wheel that doesn't have a center rib, that's fine. Again, just uh, roughly one third of the wheel should be exposed from the, from the tool. So the next thing we'll do is we'll set the, the tool upright. We'll take our tire. And again, we wanna make sure that the back side of the tire is inserted onto the tool first. So we'll just insert the tire over the tool. And at this point, the tire should be flush with the back side of the tool. We'll take our um, axle and wheel that we had already positioned on it. Now, if you're using CA glue, uh, make sure that you just make up a little disc with some wax paper, right? So that the fender washer that we're gonna slip on in just a second doesn't adhere to the back of your wheel. If you're using some silicone adhesive, uh, it has a much longer working time. You don't have to worry about that. Slip your fender washer that comes with the kit over the axle. Slip the retaining collar that also comes with the kit behind the fender washer. And then make sure that the fender washer is flush against the back side of the wheel and that the collar is up snug against the fender washer. Just snug up the set, uh, set screw. It doesn't have to be super tight. Now, if we were actually um, using adhesive, this is the point that you'd add the adhesive to your wheel. 
So you can brush it on there and make a nice, you know, um, consistent, smooth layer of adhesive on there. And then that's going to be inserted back into the, into the tool as far as it will go. Put your two thumbs on the back of this fender washer and put your fingers over the tire as shown. And what I'm going to do is just pull the, uh, the tire off the tool right up against that fender washer, like so. Okay, so now it's flush on the, on the, on the fender washer. And all I'm going to do is, is turn it around. I'm going to continue to hold it with my thumb and my fingers. And I'm just going to plop the tire onto the, onto the wheel. So essentially what we've done here is we've dropped, we've, we've stretched the tire using the tool. We've brought the tire out over the, over the wheel and we've dropped it onto the, onto the wheel. So this way we're not smearing or moving any of the adhesive around. We know that we've got adhesive across the entire surface of our wheel. And therefore our tire, we're going to get a much better uh, bond with this and it's, it's going to hold up uh, much, much better than using the toothpick method or the smear method. At this point, all you have to do is disassemble it, take off the collar, the fender washer. You might want to just knead this a little bit, set it off to dry, and you're all set. So we want to thank you very much for watching our video, and we hope you'll give our SEC tire gluing tool a try. Thank you very much.